Definition of terms Population Total number of people or inhabitants in a country, region, or area Mobility The ability to move or be moved from one place to another, temporarily or permanently Demography The study of human populations and the process through which population change when we are encountering a new topic as a student, we would always ask ourselves how this topic is important to us or how will this affect us in our chosen career in the future, the way city is shaped, how a firm should function, and the ability to accommodate consumers or the advancement of technology are all under this topic. Geography Mobility the measure of how populations and goods moved over time. It is commonly used in demography and human geography. These moves can be as large scale as international migrations or as small as regional commuting arrangements. Our world is getting smaller and smaller as we people deal with so many changes in terms of economics, government, and populations that brought each country its development because of globalization. Talking about globalization, it has so many topics to deal with. One of them is the global population and mobility, such as global city, global demography, and global migration. Global city. It is important because it talks about the importance of the operation of global systems in terms of trade and finance, which made some countries as developed as first world countries. The first world countries are called megacities, which cover a large area of geography, more than 10 million in populations like Japan, the USA, and China. These countries belong to megacities because of their economic stability and advancement of technology. Global demography. This focuses on populations. In this time, Lifespan gradually becomes short-lived of time. In the Philippines, the government proposed a Philippine Bill or RH Bill, Reproductive Health Bill to protect and set its family planning at least help increase the population here in our country. And Global Migration Some people tend to migrate because of some factors such as employment, like many Filipinos tend to stay in other places around the world for them to settle themselves stably and conveniently of living. These are the issues that need to be discussed in our nation. Global population and mobility. It is geographic mobility that measures how population and goods move over time. It is a percentage of global population with a volume of movement on a large scale. To understand, the global population is the total number of people globally who are currently living here on Earth. It gives data and information to identify the growth of particularly current country. On the other hand, mobility is where people are allowed to move freely and has the currency of movement or change in place or even residency. Connectivity of global populations to mobility. So, what is the connection of the global population to mobility? People tend to relocate themselves in which they can find opportunities and have a good source of income. Sometimes, other lives with their supposed to get a chance of flying and building business outside their base. That's why the mobility results to have this global population. Global City, an urban center that enjoys significant competitive advantage and that serves as a hub within a globalized economic system. The term has its origin in research on cities carried out during 1980s, which examined the common char characteristic of the world's most important cities. It is also called Power City, World City, Alpha City, or World Center. It is primary role in the global economic network. This concept comes from geography and urban studies. And the idea that globalization is created and further in a strategic geographic local according to the hierarchy of importance to the operation of a global system of the finance trade. 
The most complex of these entities is a global city whereby the linkage binding assembly has a direct and tangible effect on global appeal through social economic needs. Global city has been linked with two globalized related trends. The expansion of the role of transnational corporation in global production patterns, decline the mass production along for this line and the continental rice flexible production centered with urban areas. These two trends explain the emergence of a network of certain cities. Serving the financial and service requirement of the TNCs while other cities suffer of consequences of industrialization and fail to become global cities therefore become the effective command and coordination part of the TNC's with globalization world economy. Glo global cities play an increasingly important role at the global and regional levels from Asia to Africa and from South and North America to Europe. Large urban centers enjoy a significant competitive advantage and serve on primary modes in the globalized economic system. They interact with states and other information with global economic agendas and are crucial to questions related to climate change, mobility, migration, technological innovations, economic development, and infrastructure. At the same time, global cities dramatically display the challenges posed by social inequalities and exclusion. Global city is good for the movement of the global economy, but looking, on the other hand, the global city brings its effects. Poor air and water quality, insufficient water availability, wasted disposal problems, and the high energy consumption is exhibited by reading increasing population density and demands of our urban environments. Another side, strong city planning will be essential in managing this and other in difficulties as the world's urban areas well. Examples of global city with their contributions. Very large contributions, London and New York City. Smaller contributions and with cultural bias, Los Angeles, Paris, and San Francisco. Incipient global cities, Amsterdam, Boston, Chicago, Madrid, Milan, Macau, and Toronto. Global demography. It is a study of human population, their size, composition, and distribution across space, and the process through which population changes. The rapid increase in the global population over the past few decades has resulted in a large number of people of childbearing age. This creates population momentum, in which the population of most countries, even those with failing birth rates, will grow for many years to come. This is particularly through of developing countries' population change have potentially huge implications for the peace and progress of economic development. For example, an increasing proportion of elderly may act as a drag on economic growth where smaller working populations must provide for a larger number of non-working dependents. Rising life expectancy can also bolster an economy by creating a greater incentive to save and invest in education thereby boosting the financial capital on which investors drove and the human capital that strengthens economies where a country has experienced a baby boom followed by a decline in infertility. The relative size of the workforce is increased countries that can absorb the baby boom generation into productive employment can experience a rapid increase in economic growth. Countries enabled to take advantage of the opportunity run the risk by creating large chronic underemployment increasingly relative work age population. Human population grows slowly and the stru age structure, birth rates, and death rates of population change only gradually. Epidemic and pandemic had huge effect of population but this effect were short-lived and had a little bearing on the long-term trends in past 50 years. However, this trend of long-term stability has given way to the biggest demographic uphill in history and uphill that can still running its course. In the development world, 
sharp past war, rise in fear, infertility was followed by an equally sharp fall. The change of the fertility transform age structures wrote the creation of the baby boom generation. The aging of this generation and the continued decline of fertility and old range mortality and shifting the population balance in development countries from young to old. In, mean, in the meantime, the developing world had has experienced the population explosion that result of improved nutrition, public health structure, and medical care. Even if, it, if high fertility, the main underlying cause of rapid population growth, were suddenly adjust the long-run replacement level of 2.1 children per woman. Humanity would continue to experience demographic change of some, for some times. What is global migration? A situation in which people go to live in foreign countries, especially to find work. Most global migration is from developed ones. However, the reasons why people migrate differ depending on an individual situation. Migration is powerful migrating themselves with significant opportunities to progress. It is also a factor that has diverse development effects on both the homes and countries. Migration is a process that involves a temporary movement of a person from one place to another given the premise that it is not limited to occurring within the borders of the same country it is can also mean crossing international borders on the other hand immigration involves the same process but then proceeds with the movement of permanent residency how is migration related to the global population and mobility migration is related to the global population and mobility because the population of the country will be affected based on the people that migrate to the other country. For example, one family from the Philippines will move to another country. Then, the number of the population of the Philippines will decrease and the number of the population of the country where the family moved to will increase. Besides, it is related to mobility in the way that people can move freely whenever or wherever they want. In some cases, the global population can affect as a whole to growth while migration. Next is, who can benefit from migration? In reality, migration brings huge benefits, fueling growth, innovation, and entrepreneurship in both the countries people come from or in those they move to. When governed humanely to promote safety, order and dignity, migration has endless advantages. It promotes opportunities and raises incomes and living standards. These benefits are important to keep in mind in Europe, where more, not less, migration will probably be needed in the future. Europe's population is aging, and Europe is projecting a massive shortage of workers of 45 million in the next 50 years as the working age population will drop. With no further migration to Europe, the population of the EU27 will be 58 million less than it was in 2010, according to the Eurostat data. Contrary to the public perceptions that European countries do not need migrants, the reality is that migrants mitigate the effects of aging and shrinking population and will be decay in the sustainability of the dependency rates. Is migration good for our country? Yes, migration is good for our country, especially in economic growth. It boosts the working age population. Migrants arrive with skills and contribute to human capital development. Overseeing countries migrants also contribute to technological progress understanding. This impact is important if our societies are to usually debate the role of migration. Importance of Global Migration Migration is important for the transfer of manpower and skills and provides the needed knowledge and innovation for global growth. To address the issues raised by global immigration, it is necessary to improve international coordination. Migration helps in improving the quality of life of people. It helps to improve the social life of people. They learn about the new culture customs and languages which helps to improve brotherhood among people the migration of skilled workers leads to the greater economic growth of the region effects the dynamic effects of migration are mostly positive 
macro and micro level studies suggest that migration might stimulate human capital formation to the extent that the brain gain offsets the brain drain. A lot of people today go to other countries to get a job or make a business. Sometimes we can say that if there's a lot of people in our society, we can make our economy better. We can produce a lot of jobs and we can help a lot of people to sustain their daily needs. The global population also hurts our society. If people don't have family planning, a lot of people will suffer poverty. They can get a nicer job because they don't have a proper education to get higher salary. Global population and mobility help us to understand what is happening in our country and also to the world. This also help us to be a competitive enough in terms of creating job and building new infrastructure to help a lot of people to get the job.